Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to transform data in SPSS using a square root formula. And this square root can be used to transform data that are positively skewed and data that have negative numbers in them. And transformation of data is one way to overcome outliers in your data or a data that uh, that are not normally distributed here we have a data that is positively skewed uh, as i've already uh, done uh, in checking on the data using explore in spss and i will show you shortly how to do that I have here a column of a data and we need to check the distribution of this data before proceeding to any uh, test, uh, statistical test. So the first step in data analysis is to determine whether the data are normally distributed or not. And if it is not normally distributed, there are few options and one of the option is to transform the data uh, using square roots uh, or other choices so first of all to check whether these data are distributed here i have in this column a ps data that labeled as ps ps stands for positive skews skewed data so to check the distribution of the data click on analyze descriptive statistics explore i'm going to receive this and i'm going to move the positive skewed data to the dependent list and then I'm going to click at the plots icon. I'm going to untick stem, take the histogram, and, uh, take the normality plot with test as I'm going to use this statistical test to determine whether the data are normally distributed or not. Click on continue in the options. We're going to keep the options that it is, uh, no change to it. So we click on okay. SPSS will generate few tables. The one here does have descriptive title. From this data, we can see that the data we have are not normally distributed and there is a degree of skewness and the data are skewed, positively skewed as the statistic error for it is 0.1. Now the next table here, test the normality of distribution of the data using two tests, Kolomogorov, Seminarov, and Shabiro Willick. Again, these two tests confirm that this data we have are not normally distributed. If we look at the histogram of these data, we can see that it is skewed to the, uh, towards uh, the positive value, so it is positively skewed data so we cannot proceed with this data using parametric test unless we have to do to go for non-parametric test but another way to overcome this is to try to transform this data to see if it is really can revert to normal and the way to do that is to use a square root so i'm going to delete this square root of the data and the way to do that is to click at transform compute variable in this compute variable um, SPSS will generate a, a new column a new variable with data in it transformed using the square root we, I'm going to call it square root positively skewed data so and i'm going to look for the square root function here in this box and then in the one below it click on the square root click on move it to the numeric expression and then i'm going to square root the data that has that are positively skewed then i'm hit the button for okay and then SPSS will generate a data as we can see here a 
column, a variable with square root of the positively skewed data. So the next step is to check whether these square root transformed data are normally distributed or not. Then we click and analyze descriptive statistics, then explore. And then in this window, I'm going to move the square root positively skewed data into the dependent list and click on OK. Again, we can see here from this descriptive table that the data that are not transformed, the skewness was 0.65. After transformation with the square root, it is reduced to 0.2. So there is a reduction of skewness. So this data tend to be tend to be more normal after transformation. Again, this third table testing of normality using the two tests using the two tests shows that the positively skewed data is not normally distributed. However, when it square root was performed in all the data, uh, the day the distribution of the data become normal as it's seen here in these two tests. Again, this is the data before transformation with square root, and this is the data after transformation with square root. So, in fact, transformation has really transformed the data from non-normal to normal, which allow uh, parametric tests to be done on this data. Now, what if I have positively skewed data, but it has in it a negative value, a negative number like this one, minus 2.5 and minus 1.3. Can I still do a square root uh, transformation? Yes. And the way to do that is to click on transform, compute variable, reset that, then I'm going to name the target value variable as square root negative. And again, I'm going to look for the function of square root, move the square root function into the numeric expression. And then I'm going to square root the data that has posit at are positively skewed and have negative number in it and uh, so there is no square root for negative number um, and the way to overcome this is to add to each one of these data value or number in the column for the negative uh, number which will transfer these two negative value into positive so I'm going to add number probably go for number four. So this formula is going to take the square root of this data after adding number four to each cell on this variable. If I hit the bottom of, for OK, again, SPSS will generate a variable which has a data in it that has been transformed and the negative values has been transformed into positive and a number four was added to all these uh, cases and then square root we're taking and then when then from that move ahead to the check whether these data are normally distributed or not so in this video i've shown you two how to do square root for positively skewed data and data that have negative values in it.